Good evening. Uh, we're back at the lathe again for another quick look at carbide versus high speed steel. Um, now one of the comments from the last video got me thinking, uh, you know, carbide is more commonly used on bigger machines to work faster and, uh, you know, not ideal for bench top lathes. And I thought, well, I wonder if we take the same cut with a carbide tip and a high speed steel tip, what the actual load on the machine is. How can we uh, measure that? Well, one sort of function of the load is going to be the current drawn, so uh, don't try this at home. I've broken into the power supply here with a current clamp, and we have a reading on the meter there. Okay, and when the lathe just idles, I've had it running for a few minutes to sort of warm up the headstock lubrication. We're looking at it settles down about seven and a bit amps. So it's the numbers at the top right we want to be looking at. Seven point six something when the when the oil gets round it and it's been running for a few seconds. Okay, so we will um, take a big cut with a carbide tool, see what the current goes up to, and then take the same cut with a high speed tool, see what the current goes up to. Okay, it's carbide first. I'm going to take. Uh, 150,000, so 20, 40, 60, 80, 120, 40, 50. I'll just weigh on my cross slide in. 150,000, that's total, not per side. That's, uh, that's going to work this lathe a little bit, but it should be okay. I'm going to back it off here. I'm going to engage the feed. Uh, I'm going to start the lathe. And this, when it feeds from here to here, that'll just allow the current reading to settle. And we'll see the difference when the cut starts. Okay. Point three four amps is what we hit, so that's a you know reasonable increase in the load. Now let's do nothing now except change to high speed steel. Same cut, same speed, same feed. All I'm going to do swap out the tool, touch off, and let it run into this part of the bar, and see how many amps. All right, same conditions. We're touched off. It's going to cut clear for a little while, and it's going to hit this shoulder where we where there's uh, the same cut to take, running the same speed, we will see where the amps get to. Uh, I might cheat and use a little bit of oil on my high speed because that's typically what you would do if you were, you know, at home with a bench top lathe. Shall I? No, let's keep it exactly the same for experimental consistency. Okay, let's go. not what I expected okay it took more power to cut with the high-speed steel I was thinking it was going to be the other way around not only that I can kind of see where the power went because it's generated a very hot blue chip maybe I'm working it a bit hard um, and the carbide made uh, some nice little curls that are not too discolored uh, surprisingly in this instance on a bit of bright, uh, high speed steel is less efficient than tungsten carbide. I 
generally been told and it might be the other way around so that kind of surprises me I'm just going to try doing this last bit with a little bit of oil cutting oil see if that makes the high-speed steel perform better right we've got a little bit of lube on it now um, same test see what amperage we get Engage the feed it'll help Okay, now there was me thinking that uh, a, uh, a high speed steel tool put less load on the machine and would take the same cut with less kind of tool pressure and feed pressure. May not necessarily be the case. I think there's less feed pressure. I think when I'm hand feeding, usually I notice that tungsten carbide takes a little more, a little more feeding particularly when you're facing and the surface speed is getting slow as you get towards the centre. Um, you know, uh, well, maybe just because a lot of my carbide tools are negative rake and usually when I grind a high speed steel I make it slightly positive. So it's just going to feed a little bit easier. So I can't say that there's a definite advantage when you want to take, uh, when you, you want to work a low powered machine at its limit, I can't say that there's a definite advantage to high speed over a good quality carbide insert. And I'm a little bit surprised by that. Uh, maybe this test is a little bit flawed. What I can say is that the high speed steel, whatever cut you take, if it's sharp, it never kind of tears and leaves fuzzy finish. That's a bit grey, but it's a nice finish. Still the benefit of high speed steel for me over carbide is that I can take um, a light cut and get a good surface finish. If it's honed and sharp you can kind of wear a few tenths off with a high speed steel. If you try that with some of these nice carbide inserts it won't like it. It'll either, it just won't be a good cut, won't be consistent, won't be what you want. Anyway we didn't prove the point that I set out to prove, but I hope that's of interest to someone. And uh, if you like what you see, don't forget to like, share and subscribe. Thanks very much. Good night.